Hi guys, welcome to Virtual Storytime. Our story today is called Pluto Gets the Call by Adam Rex. So this story is about the planet Pluto and Pluto loves being called a planet. He's loved it ever since 1930 when he was first discovered by an astronomer. But then one day, Pluto gets a call from some scientists on Earth and they've got some bad news for Pluto. He is no longer considered a planet and Pluto is not happy about this. So he decides to take a journey through the solar system to see if he can find out why he is no longer considered a planet. Pluto Gets the Call by Adam Rex. Ooh, someone's gonna call? Are they calling to invite me to a party? I love parties. Hi, hi, hey over here, behind the ice and all those other guys. It's me, Pluto, the ninth planet. It's great to see you. We don't get a lot of visitors out here in the Kuiper Belt. It's this huge ring around the sun that's full of frozen stuff. It's kind of my neighborhood, no big deal. So, not to brag, but I'm mostly made of nitrogen. Ooh, nitrogen, swoon. I'm almost as big as Earth's moon. I'm really cold, and I have a big heart on my belly because I love being a planet. Hold on a second, that's my phone. You got Pluto. Oh, what a coincidence. I was just talking to someone from Earth. Uh, sorry, I should take this. Uh-huh, uh-huh. What? What do you mean I'm not a planet anymore? Why am I not a planet anymore? I, oh, okay. Thank you for calling. That was just some scientists from Earth. They say I'm not a planet anymore. No biggie. They asked if I'd like to be known as the solar system's largest ice dwarf. And I was like, how'd you like to be known as Earth's meanest scientist, huh? Huh? Okay, I really didn't say that. I'm sorry, you were probably hoping to hang out with a real planet. Let me show you around. Psst, Neptune, are you awake? Meh. This is Neptune. He's closer to the sun than me, but he's still so far away that it takes him 165 years to orbit all the way around. It only takes Earth one year. One year exactly. That's what a year is actually. Ah, a black hole. Don't get sucked in. Who are you talking to? No one, man. Go back to sleep. Neptune is pretty icy and gassy. I'm not being mean. He just is. His twin is called Uranus. They're practically the same size. Hey, Pluto. Don't mind Uranus. She always spins on her side. So do her rings. When did she get rings? I want rings. Uranus is icy too. In fact, she and Neptune are called ice giants, which is, which is why they want to call me an ice dwarf, I guess. What's up, Pluto? I know you have kind of a funky orbit, but I don't usually see you this close to the sun. Yeah, these Earth scientists say I'm not a planet anymore. What? Hold on, there's my phone. Am I back in place? Down a little to the left. Oh look, it's the scientists again. What do you want? No, as a matter of fact, I don't want to be called a Plutoid. Would you like to be called a humanoid? Sheesh, hanging up. I gotta go, Uranus. Stay frosty. Next up are Saturn and Jupiter. They're gas giants. Again, I'm not making these names up. Hi, Pluto. Hi, yourself. Saturn has amazing rings. Oh, stop. They look like solid bands from far away, but really, they're made up of little bits of ice and rock and dust. Oh, stop, stop, stop. Uh, hey. Look over there, it's Jupiter. Stop looking at me. He's a big ball of gas. You're a big ball of gas. Um, I'm not though. I'm little and I have a hard surface that you can stand on, but Saturn and Jupiter don't. If you tried to stand on Jupiter, you'd just fall right through him. You know, Jupiter, he's really stormy. That great red spot is a storm. It's bigger than Earth, and it's been there for as long as I can remember. 
I'm bigger than all you planets put together. Uh, I should go. Bye, Pluto. Call me. Jeez, there's a lot of garbage between Jupiter and Mars. Oh, nice. It's Pluto calling us garbage. We're not garbage. We're bits of rocks called asteroids and comets. Yeah, together we're called the asteroid belt. Sorry. Gosh, I'm sorry. Just because he's a planet, he thinks he's better than us. What about Ceres? He's pretty big. He orbits around the sun. He's round like a planet. Yeah, that's right. How come you're a planet and I'm not? I'm actually not a planet anymore. He's not a planet anymore? <laughs> He's not a planet anymore. <laughs> hey, I don't have to take this. I'm out of here. Um, so here's Mars. She's smaller than Earth, and she has a lot of water ice. I don't see any water ice. It's under her surface. It's part ice, water, dust, and small rocks. That's exactly what I put in my smoothies. She's called the red planet because of all the rusty iron on her surface. Hi, Mars. I have robots on me. Yeah? Some of them just sit there. Some of them roll around. Robots! The humans sent them here. Ugh. No offense, but I don't want to talk about the humans right now. So next is Earth. It's where mean scientists live. Moving on. Oh, come on. Look, there's Earth's moon. Guess who has the most moons? Um, Mars, no, Neptune. Wait, Uranus, no, Mercury. Ooh, ooh, it's Venus. I mean Saturn. It's Saturn, isn't it? Jupiter. Oh, I was going to say that. Wow, Pluto has traveled over 3.5 billion miles. Venus and Mercury are really hot. You're not so bad yourself either. Venus is the hottest planet, and she's hidden behind yellow acid clouds. You'd hide your face too if it was covered in volcanoes. Mercury's hot too, but he's also cold. Cold as ice. If you were standing on Mercury in the sun, you'd burn up. But if you stood in the shade, you'd freeze. Hey, Pluto, are you doing okay? Oh, I'm just kind of down because I'm not a planet anymore. Not a planet, but you're round. Yeah. You orbit the sun. You don't orbit another planet like a moon does. Yeah, but I live in a crowded neighborhood. I guess a real planet's supposed to sweep all the ice and rocks out of the way. Hey, why don't you go talk to the boss about this? Yeah, man, go ask the sun's advice. She's pretty bright. Maybe I will. Did you get what I said? Pretty bright because she's the sun? Yeah, no, I got it. Pluto, you're far from home. Did you hear what happened to me? Pluto, you were orbiting around me for billions of years before the word planet was even invented. Oh, I know. I just liked feeling special for a while. Look out at the solar system, my friend. Mercury is the smallest. And dare I say the cutest? Venus is the hottest. And I rotate in opposite direction as most everybody else. Earth has life. And this yummy sandwich. Mars has robots. I guess they're kind of cool. Jupiter's the biggest. Stop staring at my red spot. Saturn has its rings. Yoo-hoo! Hi, Pluto! And people talk about Uranus for a lot of different reasons. Aw, shucks. You must mean my charming personality. And, well, Neptune is Neptune. What's that supposed to mean? But you, Pluto, you're the planet who doesn't get to be a planet anymore. And people will love you for it. You're still a planet to everyone who was too short to ride the Ferris wheel. To everyone who's ever put $7 into a claw machine and still didn't get the hippopotamus they wanted. To all the people picked last for kickball. Do you know that right now as we speak, those scientists are still arguing about you? They are? 
You used to be the coldest, littlest planet, but now you have a big warm place in our hearts. There, there, don't cry, Jupiter. I'm not crying, I have meteor dust in my eyes. Thanks, son. Don't mention it. I'd hug you, but you'd burn up instantly. It's cool. Get it? Cool? They get it. For your writing today, I want you to write a letter from the viewpoint of Pluto. So you are going to pretend to be the planet Pluto and pretend that you just received that call from the scientists on Earth saying that you are no longer a planet. I want you to write a letter back to those scientists and tell them how do you feel about this news. Are you happy? Are you excited? Do you feel like you're getting kicked out of the club? Are you confused? Go ahead and write a letter as if you were Pluto. All right, I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.